Hey everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am going to be doing a cup pour on a wood box that's been painted a base color and I'm going to be using pearls today. So I'm going to get this uh, box ready to go, bring you down, and we'll get started. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So here is the box that we're going to be doing today. You are looking at the back side of it. And here are the colors that we're going to be using. We are going to be using uh, bright gold, which is a pearlescent. We are going to be using uh, pearl sky blue. And we are going to be using pearl white. So again, this is going to be a cup pour. We're going to be pouring it on here. I do have push pins on the bottom so that I can pick this up and tilt it around and be able to get it um, down the sides where I need it and across the top and front. So let's get started. I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use a clear cup just so you guys can see what's going on. So there's my cup for this cup pour. And we are going to start with gold. Now we did decide that we're going to put a base coat of white and then we're going to use do the cup pour just to make sure that the colors do um, land all, all, all over the bottom. So we are going to start with blue. Whatever goes in first comes out last so that, that way we'll have some blue in the middle. So here we go. Next, we're going to use white. And gold. So I'm going to put the first layer in and then I'll bring it up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so here is the first layer. And we've got our blue, our white, and our gold. So now we're going to start with the blue again. So we've got our blue. our white, and our gold. And as I layer this, I'm going to be adding more of the pearl white than anything else. So here we got our blue, our white, and our gold. And our blue, white, gold, blue, white, gold, blue, And gold. I think we have enough white to do maybe a layer or two, so we're gonna like that. White, gold, blue, white, gold. I think we've got just enough for one more layer. And I'll show you guys what the cup looks like. I think I'm going to add just a here of gold and white. Okay, so here's what our cup looks like. I know it's hard to see, but it's rings of blue, gold, and white. Okay. So now we let that set for a second, and we're going to go ahead, cover these up, and then we're going to put the white on. And for my white base, I'm going to be using my um, titanium white, just to keep, so that we have a nice bright white and a nice bright white together. So we're going to pour this in the middle before we do our cup ring. I'm going to shake this up a little bit, because we're going to torch it anyway. Okay, so let's get the white in the middle to start. Make sure that we have enough to make sure that this flows all over the box. And I'm going to torch this before I add the other colors and torch them. 
want to make sure I get all the bubbles out. Get smooth transition when we pour. All right, so we're going to take our cup, and the last bit we poured was right here in the cup. So that's going to be the side, instead of making it go across, I want it to keep this nice rings. So I'm going to start pouring right here. So I'm going to give it a little squeeze, and we're going to pour. And to make sure that I get enough waves in here, I'm also going to be moving the cup. So here we go. Now, as you can see, the first set of blue, which I knew it would do, has dipped over, but now you can see it. So here we go. So we're just going to keep wiggling back and forth. Let this spread out. Give us those pretty rings. Put that white in there. And now I see some of this is mixing up. So now we're going to give it our little swirl. And all this is going to separate once we get to the um, tilting. there. It's starting to drip down the sides which is wonderful. That's what we want. And I want to keep some of that pearl white in here. Okay, we're going to let it go right there. Alright, here we go. Bring that stick for now. So we need to tilt over one side. side over here. These are beautiful circles. Because <clears throat> as we pull or spread those out, I'm hoping that white will come back. Okay, here we go. This side. Tricky part, it's keeping your hands out of the way. Okay. Now we have to pour over here to this side. Make sure that everybody is Blowing over the sides here. And we're going to need to go back to center. So I'm going to grab these little handles under here. Bring this back to center. on that side. Okay. And here's the tricky part. Okay. Making sure the push pins don't fall out while I'm tilting. Okay. So two. I'm going to go back to this side. I know you guys can't see this, but I have to go back here to get this side to pour down. Okay. Almost there. And this stuff will keep dripping until it sets. So we'll still have drips going on. Trying to see if you guys can see what I'm seeing here. Okay, so now we need to set this down. Put it back on my popsicle sticks. Okay, so the blue and the pearl white have combined a lot to make a kind of a pearl green. Um, it is very pretty still, but I see. Oops. Okay. Let me get this over this way a little bit more. So we got that so far. I'm not sure. Now let's take a look. Yeah, we're still we're still going down the side. So we need to give it time to do that. So let's see what we've got. Alright, so we've got a few spots that aren't covering, so we're going to add some white to help drip them down there. And 
that, like I said, that'll continue to drip. And then the back side, and the back side. The back side needs a little more help. So I'm going to let this drip down and then we'll fix the coloring in a little bit. We just need more paint to pull the color off the top. If it's too dry, it won't pull the color. So we'll use this up so we don't waste it. We'll let it pull the color from the top in just a second. And we'll give it another little, another little tilt. So we just want to make sure that we are covering all the little I guess I'm not going to call them holes, but all the little missing spots along the sides. And to do that, we need paint. Okay. That is the last of my pearl that I have mixed up. So like I said, we're going to add it on here. We'll let it drip down, and then we'll tilt to make sure that we cover everything. Okay. Um, so, I don't know how much you guys can see. So I'm going to tilt this now while this is still wet. Let's see if I can get that to go down. I'm so afraid these push pins are going to fall out of my hands. Okay, there we go. Let's convince it to go down this corner. Come on, come on. I've never done this in a box before, so it's a little different when you have such deep sides to work on. Okay, I'm gonna set this down again. Ah, it's very messy. Okay, so um, I'm going to work on the sides a little bit and then I'm gonna bring you back and bring you down and um, uh, show you the final box. So we'll be right back. Okay, I am back and here is the final box. I know it's hard to see the pearls, um, doesn't or the pearl colors right now. So I'm going to try to tilt it a little bit so that you can get the gold and the blue and the white. And when this dries, the box is going to have just a beautiful pearl design to it. It's still dripping down the sides. We're still letting that go. And I have scraped the underneath of the box, just like I do with my canvases, to make sure that any of the dripping paint, like that, gets off of there and um, keeps the bottom as clean as possible. And then once this box is finished, I will give you a final picture of um, what the box looked like after my, my son is done finishing all the things he's going to do with it. So for now, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my subscribers. And uh, my contact information will be at the end of this video. Bye.